This video is how to check the wiring on a home run cable. That's a cable from the either 900 or 901, which is this 5 pin right here. See, there's 5 holes. Or a 902, which has 4 pins. It might be different colors, but the connector on the end is what's the important part. So, this is just how to check the cable if not damaged internally. So I'll start with the 900 first. See how it is? So you'll see how there's screws here. So you're gonna get a screwdriver, a mini flathead, or a cross. You're gonna loosen up. I don't know if you see it here. You can see how it's flush. It's good enough. You don't have to take it out. You take out too much, the clamp will actually fall off. Let's see, do not twist like this. So, what you're gonna do is actually hold on to the black end with left hand. The right hand start twisting. See how we loosen it up. Just gonna keep twisting, 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 and you can see the metal cables. So, you'll notice pin one. Is the red cable so you see this one is not broken off if you notice one of your colors is broken from the solder this could be a reason for getting no signal to your indicator where you put weight on it take weight off still zero pin 2 it's labeled as 2 is the green cable is good make sure it doesn't cross with anything pin 3 white so it's not crossing with the green or white turn this way Pin 4, you'll notice is the black cable, which is the ground. And pin 5, if possible, you'll notice it has the shield cable. Not important, you might might or might not have the shield cable connected, that's not important, you don't use it. Just make sure the EXC or E8 positive is red, pin 1. Signal positive or S positive, SIG positive is green. SIG negative or S negative is white, signal negative, and the black is ground or EXC negative. So none of these are broken off. Just make sure you go through the cable because I pulled one a while ago and you can see how it was smashed in this area. So run your hands through the entire length of the cable and it also a cut. So this could cause a no signal where if I put weight on the scale, I take weight off, it's still staying at zero. So make sure the cable's fine. And then if you're doing it on a 902, it's very similar. You can see how screw this go fast. So it's flush. Hold the black end, twist. Gonna be a similar setup. So you see pin one up here. So red, that's on, it's not broken off. Pin two, it's the green, SRG positive, white, signal negative right here, and then pin four, it's black, so none of these are loose. If someone was yanking on the cable, it might actually break off these solder points. That's so why it's very important to see if they're all soldered on and not loose here. And then run your hands through the cable as well. And how to put it back together. Just make sure it's straight. You might need to bend it a little bit to make sure it's straight. Should go on pretty easily. If you have to re-solder this, then you might have to bend it again to make sure it goes back in. I do a video on how to solder a 4 or a 5 pin on a connector. So you can watch that as well. Or you could, if it's like a floor scale, for example, you could always just replace the home run cable with a new one. You could always purchase through us at sales at optimascale.com. And you just tell them what scale you have and if it was a 900 or 902. So that's how you check the connector. And let's say you're not sure if it has a cut in it. You can use a multimeter and check for continuity. I'll show you that next. So to check continuity, you need to get a multimeter. So 
it might look something like this with the signal. So you'll just turn it to this one. You'll notice the correct setting when you get your two leads and you hear a beep when the two leads touch. So what we're gonna do is actually check the cable for continuity. So in this one I got a smaller cable to show it entire frame. So these are typically small enough for it to go inside the pin. So you remember pin one is up here, it's labeled as one. Put it all the way in. And you get your red cable. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the beep. So that's good. That means the just cable, the signal is going through the red cable. It's now on pin two. The other end. Okay, it's beeping. That's good. Pin three. It's the white cable. It's beeping. That's good. Pin four, it's the ground, so it's a black cable. And I hear beep. And there's only four wires here. Yours might have a fifth wire, not the shield cable. That will be pin five. You might not have it, doesn't really matter. Just make sure you test those pin one through pin four. And it doesn't matter if it's a black cable like this or the gray cable. I could do the same test with a. 902 cable see where it has a four pin connector might be a little more difficult to actually hold it in there because it's so small you might need to actually hold it and then get your cable here okay i hear the beep so go to the next one you might need to get a little piece of wire and put it in there if you want. I'm just holding it in for now. Pin 2. Pin 2 is green. So I hear the beeping. That's good. So there's continuity between the, the pins. Pin 4 is signal negative or the white cable. Okay, beeps is fine. And pin four is the ground, just the black cable. Okay, so this is a good home run cable. Home run cable being the cable from the 900, 901, 902 to a floor scale, a bench scale, uh, a bed scale, another floor scale with a 902 indicator, like the one in the back. So I'll say you check if the cable is fine. If you're still having no reading, then maybe it's a load cell that is just dead. And it's be worn out, but a lot of times it's just a cable itself. So check the connections. If you have a multimeter, you can check continuity like I just did. And just remember the pinouts and hopefully that helps you with the issues.